Let's go over managing Active Directory spins or service principal names using PowerShell. First, let's run get ad user to get some information on the web service account. You'll notice that service principal names do not get returned by default. To see the service principal names for a particular account, we need to specify the properties parameter and pass it service principal names. Now we see a property for service principal names, which is currently empty. Let's go ahead and add a spin to this account. I'm going to run set ad user against the web service account. Then I'll specify the service principal names parameter, which accepts a hash table. For adding a new spin, we need to specify the word add as the key, then the spin we want to add as the value. Here I'm adding HTTP web server. Now if I run get ad user again and select the service principal names property, we can see our new spin. To add multiple spins at the same time, we would run the same command, except this time we would separate the spin values by a comma. When we run get ad user again, we can see our two new spins have been added. To remove a spin, inside the hash table, we'll use the word remove as the key and use the spin that we would like to remove as the value. Here, I'm going to remove the HTTP web server spin. When I select the service principal names again, we are now left with only two. Our next option is to replace spins. This will remove the current spins for an account and replace them with the new values we specify. I'm going to use the word replace as my key in my hash table, then replace the current spins with web1, web2, and web3. Now we can see that my web alias and web server alias spins have been replaced by web1, 2, and 3. Our last option is to clear all spin values for the account. To do this, Instead of passing a hash table to the service principal names parameter, we are just going to pass in null. After we run that, we can see that our service principal names property is now empty. Thank you for watching.